matter. If we look around a classroom, we see many things such as tables, chairs, bags, books, pencils, doors, boys, girls, teachers, fans, etc. around us. Even though we cannot see air, but it is present all around us. All these things are called matter. Everything around us is matter. Anything that occupies space and has weight is matter. Matter is made up of many substances. Even the air around us is a mixture of many gases. Matter is made up of very tiny particles called molecules. Molecules are so small that we cannot see them with our eyes. States of matter The three states of matter are solid, liquid and gas. Solid Touch a book, pen or a stone. All of them are hard. They are called solid objects. Solids are usually hard because their molecules are packed together very closely and tightly. A solid has a fixed volume and shape. Liquid Another state of matter is liquid. We drink water, milk and juice. All of these are liquids. We cannot hold them in our hand like solids. They do not have a fixed shape. They take the shape of the container in which they are kept. If we pour some water into a glass, it will take the shape of the glass. Liquids have ability to flow. In liquids, the molecules are loosely packed and have space between them. The molecules can move around a little freely. Liquids have a fixed volume. One liter of water will remain one liter whether we pour it in a tub or in a bucket. Gas Have you seen steam coming out from the spout of a kettle? Steam is a gas. It has no fixed shape or volume. The air around us is also a gas. If we light an agarbatti in one corner of a room, the fragrance of the agarbatti spreads quickly all over the room because the molecules of gas are quite loosely packed. They can move freely and can flow easily. The molecules of a gas have much greater spaces between them. They are not closely packed together but spread out in all directions. They occupy space. If we fill air into a bicycle tube, it occupies the space available inside the tube. Gas does not have a fixed shape or volume. Interchanging states of matter Matter can change its state. Take out few ice, solid, cubes from your fridge and put them in a pot. Leave the ice cubes for a few minutes. It converts into water, liquid. Now, boil this water, liquid. After a few minutes, the water converts into steam, gas. Thus, a solid can be converted into a liquid and liquid into a gas. Similarly, a gas can also be converted into a liquid and a liquid can be converted into a solid. We have already learned that water vapor, gas, can be condensed to form a liquid, water, and on further cooling, it freezes to form a solid, ice. So, matter can be changed from one state to another by heating or cooling. Solution When a solid substance is mixed in a liquid, 
it may break up into tiny particles. These particles mix with the liquid molecules to form a solution. Take water in a glass and add a small quantity of salt into it. Now, stir the water with a spoon. Soon the salt dissolves in the water and we get a solution of salt in water. The salt is called the solute which gets dissolved and the water is called the solvent which helps in dissolving. A solution is formed by dissolving a solute in a solvent. The molecules of water in the glass have empty spaces between them. These empty spaces are filled by the molecules of salt to make the salt solution. We can make different solutions by dissolving different solutes in different solvents. However, all solids do not dissolve in water. Some solids, such as chalk, sand, and mud, are insoluble and so they do not dissolve. Activity Take some water in a glass and mark the level of water. Now add 3 to 4 teaspoonfuls of sugar to it. Note the water level. Now dissolve the sugar in water by stirring with a spoon. Note the water level again. What do you observe? You will observe a very slight rise in the level of water. This is because the sugar molecules fill up the spaces between the molecules of water and hence cause a small increase in volume. Saturated solution A solution in which no more solute can be dissolved is called a saturated solution. Take some water in a glass. Keep dissolving a teaspoonful of sugar in it. After some time, sugar stops dissolving and settles at the bottom. It happens because the empty spaces between water molecules are already filled with sugar molecules. <laughs>